Hello everyone, welcome to another fan to play fantasy match review. We're doing this for the Delhi versus Mumbai game and ensure you join us on the Fantasy Crick Pro Twitter and Telegram channel. Smash the like button before you start this video. And one important thing to keep in mind, I will not be able to share final teams today as I'm traveling back to India. So won't be able to share the final team. But you can stay tuned here for all the updates. And in Hindi also mentioning that I will final team not share the final team. But I will try to keep the video in English so that you can understand the whole video. And before we get to the pitch conditions, keep in mind that you participate in Rario 100% cashback exclusively for FCP users. App link in the description. You will get 1600 cashback on sign up, rather 1600 bonus on sign up. And post that, you will also get 100% cashback on your first bronze match pack purchase, after which you can play the contest exclusively for free. So what you have to do, what you exactly need to do is buy this bronze match pack. You will get it for $4.5 after using my sign up link and this $4.5 will also be credited back to your Rario wallet within 72 hours. So basically your first contest becomes free and like you can see from the fill rates here they are pretty slow right up till now. So here only 8,000 teams have joined, only 8,000 teams have joined and there is prizes to be won right up till 21,000 ranks so winning almost guaranteed, don't miss out on this chance, same for the silver league here the fill rate is less than 40% now, same for gold and same for black so don't miss out on this chance exclusively on the Rario app, the app link is in the description and now let's look at the game so we'll start off by looking at pitch conditions for this game and this game again is played at Ferocia Kotla where we know that pacers rule the roost as far as wickets are concerned even though spinners do have some good economy advantage here but as far as the wickets are concerned they go to pace and the ground dimension the short one side is 50 one side is 60 and this side is slightly longer but square is also quite short which means that it's going to be pacers and batters last game here DC versus Gujarat was about 160 odd score. Rashid Khan took three wickets, but not like he was at his economical best. But obviously he's a class apart. But on that note, let's look at our base team for this game. So deposit a free entry contest is open for the Delhi versus Mumbai game on the Fan to Play app. All you need to do is make a deposit and you'll get entry into this free contest. Keep in mind that you'll also get 200% bonus cash on your first deposit. And here you can. And here you can see you can use 5% of that bonus even in your small leagues. आप ये 5% bonus small leagues में भी use कर सकते हो. 200% bonus आपको मिल जाएगा first deposit पे. And app link है description में. यहाँ पे grand league also very very less competition. काफी कम competition है. तो अब देखते हैं हमारी आज की base team. So coming to today's base team, Ishan Kishan obviously will be everyone's first pick. सबके पहले pick रहेंगे, especially क्योंकि अभिषेक पोरल batting low, Tristan Stubbs batting low, and Kishan likely to take the gloves. Sarfraz Khan is someone who can come in as impact player. He is a Mumbai homeboy, so he's playing against his home franchise here. In the batting section, David Warner must have pick, and here you have some other good choices. Surya Kumar Yadav will still be a must have pick for me, in spite of him not showing form. Yadav form ab tak dikha nahi unka. And plus, left arm spin is his nemesis, so Akshar can come back to haunt him here. We have seen how Jadeja has done it all through the seasons and that will be a matchup to watch out for. Tim David is someone who's shown some amount of form so I'm continuing to back him in the side and same for Tilak Verma. In the all-rounder section, Akshar Patel, Cameron Green will be master picks. Cameron Green last game bowled three overs, was quite economical, had a few edges that didn't go to hand but can get luckier today. Akshar obviously on this ground while bowling will be a 50-50, batting will always be very valuable. And then in the bowling section, Anrik Nokia must have pick, can be a good GL captaincy and vice captaincy choice. And your other picks here, Jason Berendorf, he'll be the most important bowler for Mumbai. It also depends on if Jofra is available. Now, if Jofra is available, you can easily pick him in this team, but not sure about his availability for now. Also, keep in mind, David Warner has match up to left arm pace. So Jason Berendorf can be in the game with that reason. Also Jofra Archer has troubled him in the past. I won't be surprised if Mumbai go with Jason and Jofra both if both are available, especially because their bowling has looked extremely weak. Apart from that, your other choices here, Khalil Ahmad got hit quite a bit in the last game. Mukesh Kumar looked impressive. We backed him and it worked for us. So I'm going to continue to keep him in this side. And my last pick is going to be Kuldeep Yadav. So now what is the key thing for you to keep in mind, Delhi batting has looked in little bit of better form. 
in comparison to the Mumbai batting, but that's been solely because of Warner. Apart from that, if you see the batting as far as Delhi is concerned, they have Riley, Rohman, Prithvi Shaw, none of them have had a real big impact yet. From the Mumbai side of things, you know that their bowling is out of form, you know it's not working for them, while for Delhi, you know that their batting has not clicked as much. For Mumbai, you know Tilak and Tim have been doing a good job, Surya can explode at any time. So that basically gives you two impact points. Tim David when batting first, good GL captaincy choice. Surya Kumar Yadav in a chase I feel would be slightly better because as the even though the impact of duo is not as heavy on this ground, whatever little impact is there will affect the spinners of the Delhi team as well. So when Surya is chasing, he might be able to negate the spinners a little more easily. Coming to captaincy and vice captaincy choices, obviously very difficult for you to make final choices. David Warner is a safe captaincy choice if you want to go safe. Apart from that, the other safe choice here can be one of the all-rounders even though their percent pick will be lesser. GL captaincy choice, like I mentioned, will be Andrik Nokia and will be Surya Kumar Yadav. So that wraps up the base team for this game. These are your captaincy choices, marking the risky ones in red and marking the safe ones in green for you. So you can take the final call on that. I know that green might not seem as safe without form, but you know that with all-rounders, because they are bowling and batting, they can give you decent value, at least as vice-captaincy choice. And on that note, now let's look at the Exchange 22 picks. Over to the Exchange 22 picks on this game. Again, this app's link is in the description, so ensure that you check it out. We'll try to understand who are the players you can buy or sell. You can buy the players who you think will cross these many amount of points, while you can sell those who you think will get out or will not cross these many amount of points. That is simply put the logic. Kuldeep Yadav at 25, I think, will be a good buy, especially if he's bowling second. Even though there might be a little bit of due, the pressure does help in terms of taking more wickets. Mukesh Kumar bowled a bit at the death, especially because Khalil got it. At 20, I think he's a must-buy. Because even if he takes one wicket, that's your cost equaled out. If he takes two, he gives you double the profit. And keep in mind, even catches are counted. Even if he gets to bat, even that is counted. So you might be able to get benefit from multiple segments. So my must-have pick from this section will be Mukesh Kumar. Khalil Ahmed is bowling first. I think you can still try to back him. From the Mumbai side of things, you have Cameron Green at 48, who might be slightly overpriced. But Tim David at 28, if he's batting first, is a really good choice. If you think there'll be a big score while batting second, then also he's a good choice. So Tim David is another must-have pick according to me from this section. Apart from that, Tilak Verma has good, uh, shown good form and when he has his time, he can make a big impact. So while batting first, I'll still be able to back him at 30. So that rounds up my picks for this game. Apart from that, let's have the golden question for today. So the golden question for today, how many points do you think Cameron Green will get today? Comment in the comments. Put out your comments in the comment section. You can simply put in 58 points, less, more, whatever you feel. Ensure you smash the like button before you leave this video. Thank you so much for supporting and stay tuned.